Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 347 and this is it. You've been waiting for the shakers. You've been waiting for the shaker sprinkles that go in the shakers. This is that YouTube. <laughs> now I have to tell you, this is my relieved face. It really is. Our doggy Glinda, who is a yellow lab, is 12 years old and the past few days she hasn't been doing so well so we got her to the vet today and I was expecting for the worst news in fact honestly my my son Michael who's 17 you guys have seen pictures of him on Facebook he called me from the car sobbing like hysterically crying mom I can't go in I can't go in it's like okay Michael don't don't go in your dad and your brother are in and, and you just sit in the car because I think everybody was expecting them to tell us that they were gonna have to put her down. Obviously, that's not what they said. <laughs> I mean, I know I know that she's, for a big dog, for a yellow lab, she's 12, and the vet said, mm, she's getting up there, but it turns out that she's having allergic reaction, a, a, allergic reaction to something. So the vet has prescribed steroids and some antibiotics um, because she's been licking her foot, her paws, but uh, it's so much better than what we were anticipating. So see my relieved face? Because honestly, I don't know how I would sit here and do this YouTube knowing if they put my dog down. I just couldn't. We would have put up a gone fishing sign and I'll see you next week because I needed to go home. I would need to be with my family and take care of my kids. And, and I just, it was, I'm so relieved. <laughs> And then on top of that, the County of Los Angeles is starting to open up. We are getting back to whatever our new normal is going to be. It is our goal for the in-store, for shopping in our store to be open in July, sometime in July. And it's almost June, so it's going to be at least a month. And you're like, Stacy, why a month? Well, <laughs> because there are things that need to be done to get the store ready for you to come back. Today, today I had the air conditioning crew out who handles the air conditioning for my units and I had them change all the filters. Every filter in every unit that we use has been changed. They're coming back Monday to finish up some stuff, but all the filters are being changed. I ordered over $500 worth of hand sanitizer, not just for people when they come to shop with us, but I ordered a bottle like this big for every single employee. So each employee will have their own bottle of hand sanitizer. I ordered these things that go on the credit card processing terminal that come out like a baby wipe and you put it over it and you can still touch and do everything you need to do. And it's a one-time use. The customer pulls it up, they put it over the credit card terminal, they do what they have to do, and then they throw it away. I, 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 we're gonna do an entire deep clean of the store and have the carpets cleaned. All of these things need to be done in preparation for opening back up. So when you come see us, I can say, come on in, we're ready for you. And I also bought masks just in case you forget yours at home because in the County of Los Angeles, masks are still required. So I don't wanna to have to say, I'm sorry you can't come into shop because you don't have a mask. No, we're gonna take care of that for you too if you forget one. Now, we're slowly bringing people back and I mean slowly. I have two people, I have two people here today. We're slowly bringing people back and you're like, well, why don't you just bring all your staff back at once? Well, one, some staff didn't want to come back, but more importantly than that, I can't bring everybody back at the same time. I have to bring a few in and make sure that they're healthy and taken care of and we're taking precautions. Then I'll bring a few more in and I, I don't want to bring everybody together and potentially get a whole bunch of people sick. No. So we have to do this responsibly, slowly, over time, hopefully the retail store by July, early July. And our goal, our goal is to be all up and running online and have be caught up by around the 1st of August for online orders. That's two, about two months from now. Well, we were closed for over two months. We've been closed. By the time everybody comes back, it'll be three months. So if we can get ourselves caught back up, 
I will be thrilled. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm just so thrilled that I can finally see not only the tunnel, but the light. Now, keep in mind that there are many things that have transpired during this COVID-19, from, from a tremendous loss of life to people getting closer with their families because they were quarantined. But also what has happened is that the supply chain out there has changed a little bit. And what do I mean by supply chain? Well, you buy the product from me, I buy the product from somebody else who manufactures it, but maybe they need, they get the, maybe they do an ink and they get the, oh, you know what, Cosmic Shimmer, they're in today's YouTube. So they make this fabulous stuff, this opal polish that I'm gonna play with later. That's what Cosmic Shimmer does. That's what Creative Expressions does. Do they manufacture the lids? No. Do they manufacture the glass jars? No. Do they manufacture the cute little, ooh, spongy that fits, that has to get put on there? No. So every step of putting a product together is part of the supply chain. So while a manufacturer might have the goop that they need to put in the jars, they might not have the jars. Or I've got Aladine. Aladine, fabulous. They make the most amazing diamond glitter, Ising diamond glitter, it dries like that. But maybe they have all the components except for one to mix their batch of magic. Who knows? All of these different, all of these different little steps to go through to get one bottle of something fabulous. And if one, maybe their lids, maybe the company that makes the little lids that go on these, maybe they closed and they are not reopening for another two months. Who knows? We've had a company um, that we do business with, the labeler um, the, 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 that makes the labels that go on the front of their packagings, it broke. It broke. I mean, it does like a thousand of them in a, in a minute. They puts the labels on, it just shoots through, but it broke. And to get the spare part, the company they need to get the spare part from is closed. That means they can't ship. So we're hoping by the end of July, early August, Everything that will have come in, manufacturers will be back up and running. Some of them have been closed and are still closed. Company that makes stays on in Memento Inc. They're not open yet. Mm -mm. I can't get anything from them. They're still not open. So we take it one day at a time until everybody is back up to speed. And, and everybody's state is different and everybody's company is different. What one company feels comfortable in doing, another one may not. And that's okay. We just have to work within what everybody's comfort level is. I am not comfortable just opening my doors and welping, telling all my staff to come back in. No, I'm not comfortable in doing that. We need to be smart. We need to be prudent. We need to be responsible. We'll bring people in slowly but surely until the entire staff is built up. I'm not comfortable opening my doors to my retail customers. I value them too much. I want my store to be deep cleaned. I want the carpets to be cleaned. I want the filters in my air conditioner to be changed. I want everything in place so that when it's that day, we know, I know, I've done everything I can to make it a most enjoyable and wonderful experience, albeit a little different. So. I, I'm, I'm relieved I can see the end of the tunnel. Will the shop that did not hop sell go on this year? Yes, it will. How will it go on? We're still working that out. <laughs> it will either be mid to late July or late July to early August. It may have to be just online because right now, even if I wanted to open my store up, we're limited as to how many people I can have in my retail store. Right now I can have about seven people come and shop at any one time. Can you imagine a Saturday here with seven people? <laughs> Everybody who comes and shops here on a weekend, they're like, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so right now I can have seven people shop in my store along with my staff who, who to help and that's all we're allowed to have. They're portioning how much they're putting a percentage on how many people you can have in your store based off of the size of your business. And progressively, that will be more and more and more. I'm hoping by July, it's more than seven. Maybe we can have 12. 12 is good. I'd be okay with 12. So hang tight. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for sharing my optimism and my whew, 
about my doggy Glinda, like Glinda the Good, Glinda the Good Witch. <laughs> and um, and we will just we'll get through this. It's it's that there is a light at the end of the tunnel as long as we are safe and responsible and kind to each other. Whatever somebody's personal decision may be, it's okay. Just be kind. It'll all, it'll all work out in the wash. We will all get there. So I have winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. I have got fabulous product. I have got Clear Scraps, a lovely company, small company, small company. <laughs> They, they, they speak my language. They're not a mom and pop shop. They're a grandma and grandpa shop. <laughs> That's what they told me. Susan said, well, we're also, we're a grandma, grandpa shop. And I'm like, woohoo. They can only manufacture so many shakers a day. I already have them manufacturing, but they can really only manufacture so many a day. So we are limited as to how many we can sell so that we don't bombard this wonderful new company. I don't want them to run away from us going, <laughs> I really enjoy them. They're really very nice people and I'm glad to have found them. Um, I've got Aladine and Kevin um, from from Aladine with their eyes ink diamond and I've got opal polish for you and I've got the little the little shaker toppers that you've all been seeing and waiting for and I've got some dyes from Spellbinders and I've got Simply Botanical. So before we get there, let's do our winner winner chicken dinner and that way I can move on. Please know the shakers are limited because they're limited to how many they can manufacture per day. We don't want to, we want them to stay the, the, the grandma and grandpa shop. <laughs> the, um, the toppers are limited. I could only get so many because the company is, I can only get so many. Um, the eyes ink and the opal are pretty good i think it's the shaker oh and the dyes from spellbinders are also very limited so i'm just giving you heads up i think we're pretty good on the eyes ink diamond and on the opal polish but the shakers the sprinkles and the dyes are definitely a limited type product okay so let's talk winner winner chicken dinner from 346 which was the cosmic shimmer uh crystal tints weren't those so pretty didn't that make the prettiest sunset oh my gosh and it was my dyes hello thank you very much you all like that clock i appreciate it don't know where that clock came from it just came out of me and the opulent papers from sizzix that came back we were able to bring back rose gold gold and silver so those who I name are going to win a $25 gift card. It has already been put into your online account, should you have one. And uh, if you don't, you'll need to get one so I can put that money in. You don't need to do a single thing. You don't have to email me or anything. It's taken care of and done. Congratulations. Are you ready to hear if you're a winner, winner, chicken dinner? Me too. Yeah. Okay. I had a gray, I have a lot of gray hairs right now, but shh, that's okay. I'm not dyeing my hair. I'm, I just can't subscribe to that. It's once you do it, it's a lifelong plan. I'm not, I'm not there yet. Okay. So our first winner, winner chicken dinner is Kay. Kay Rogers. Congratulations. Kay. Is that you? How about a Wahoo Kachu? It's like, no, yes, no, yes. Chicken dinner. There's $25 in your account right now, assuming you have one. And if you don't, get one so I can put it in there, please. Our second winner winner is Cheryl. Cheryl Shepard. Hello, Cheryl. Are you like calling your husband, your children, your pets, anybody who will rally around your laptop, your big screen, your computer, and, and say, oh my gosh, it's me. It's me. Did she really say it's me? I did. Congratulations to you, Kay and Cheryl. You don't, like I said, have to do a single thing. That money is already there for you to spend any way that makes your heart uh, happy. However, we do have to do the winner winner dance. I'm sorry, it's required and you have to join. You must do it as well, okay? Because you're the winner winners. So stand up and you're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Kachu for you. But I'm hoping you're singing I'm a winner chicken dinner I'm a winner <laughs> congratulations girls I'm so happy for you and I hope you enjoy your gift card and buy something that makes your heart happy that you you always wanted but just couldn't justify getting get it now 
get it now. This is the time. All right, so I'm gonna tilt on down. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the Simply Botanical. I'm just gonna show it to you. It released a couple days ago. It is the May Simply Botanical, which is a die and stamp set. Die and stamp set. It's just one die and one stamp set. Only one skew. I do it once a month. It is a partnership between Hero Arts and Scrapbooking Made Simple, and hence the name Simply Botanical. So I'm gonna tilt down, I'm gonna show you that, and then we're gonna get started for today. All right, down we go, folks. Good to see you. Bye. My relieved face. Whew. Okay, down we go. Oh, my 17-year-old just beside himself. Oh, it just broke my heart, and I'm so glad that I didn't have to put up a sorry, gone fishing sign, can't do the YouTube, have to go home and take care of my family. So I'm still going to get home early and try and get, try and have a nice evening with them. But um, okay, so Simply Botanical. It is lavender this month, and it has a dyes, it has stamps, it has words, and here is one of the samples. Cute, right? Now I called it it was working late one night and I called it forget-me-nots. It is so not forget-me-nots. There's the stamp set. So you've got the different sprigs, you've got the words, and then you've got the dies to go with it. Again, it is a Simply Botanical, which is a partnership between Scrapbooking Made Simple and Hero Arts. And the only place you're ever going to find this package this way and done this way for this price is with us. And it is a value price of $14.39. So if you happen to be collecting them, here is May for you. Now, where's another sample? What do you think of this one? So pretty, right? Let's see if I can zoom it up. When I say zoom up, I mean me moving it backwards and forwards. That's as technical as I get. Such a pretty card. And then look how fresh this is. I love this. It's watercolored on the back, just fresh. It's got some, it was done with reactives and you can splash some water on it and a few little sequins. And look at how lovely that is. It's just a happy spring looking card. It was so easy to do. And then the next one is using the lavender as a background where We've stamped with the lavender sprigs, done a white embossing powder, and then inked over the white embossing powder because that embossing powder acts as a resist so that uh, that purple does not stick to the white. Nope, it acts as a resist, but how lovely is that? And that's using the lavender as a background, making your own background with it. Last but not least, I wanna show you the two samples that I showed, I think I showed both of them, on Facebook. Now this is using the exclusive tag that was done for Clear Scrap or by Clear Scraps for us and we have it exclusively right now. Can you see what's on the inside? Look at how that lavender just fits. Perfect, amazing. And it's got, um, it's got some uh, stamps on the side for uh, for a special friend, I think, or for a, or to a dear friend is what it stamped. Those, it's just perfect. It's really just perfect. And to a dear friend is one of the stamp sets that you get with the set. And we just cut it up and layered it down. And then if you turn it over, bam, we added a pocket just out of random paper. Perfect size for a gift card. Isn't that cute? I wanted this tag so bad. <laughs> when Susan said a tag, I said, yeah, I want a tag. She's like, we can do a tag. So it was perfect because I knew I wanted it big enough to be able to put a gift card in the back. Then I have it in this color too. And again, it's a shaker. And there's the word hello down at the bottom. And you've got the lavender going up. Look at that pretty color. Wait till you see how we do that. And again, Bam! Took a patterned piece of paper, fussy cut it down, and gift carded it. Who wouldn't love to have this attached to a nice little gift bag? And inside the gift bag maybe is a bottle of lotion or an inexpensive little candle, and there are gift cards on the back. Oh my gosh. Love it! Okay, so that is Simply Botanical. It is out now. It is limited. I know we have some of the older sets left, but I do know one month is completely sold out. I just don't know what month that is. But anyway, this is May. 
Okay, now where to start today? Gosh, there's so much to do. Um, I think I'm gonna start ooh, with die cutting because I have to assume that not everybody knows how to die cut. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but this is a steel rule die. And if you go back maybe two or three YouTubes, you will see that I did a whole thing on steel rule dies with Spellbinders dies. This is also a Spellbinders die under the Fun Stampers Journey brand. These are, I have four different styles and, and these are the ones I have. I don't even have packaging for them yet. I, I loved these for this YouTube because they are considered element dies. And what I mean by element dies is that you've got a bunch of little icons on each one. This is the everyday elements dies. And because it's what's called a steel rule, R-U-L-E die, there is an actual blade inside this die. So when this cushion gets pressed down by the pressure of your die cutter, that blade comes up and cuts the paper. That's different than a wafer die. So the dies here in my Simply Botanical are considered wafer dies. They're super thin and there's no blade. They cut the paper by pressure, but because there's no blade, you can't cut heavier things or more than one sheet at a time. It just doesn't work. So we've got steel rule dies, which will allow you to do flashing and leather and fun foam and um, multiple sheets of cardstock and cork and I mean you just you think about it if, if it cuts you can try absolutely if you need something cut a steel rule die that chipboard absolutely so I liked these four dies because again there were four separate elements there was every day then there was a Halloween one which gave you um, it gave you the boot and it gave you the witch's boot and the spider and then there's a bat down here and there's the jack-o'-lantern there and there's a yucky little rat there. Ooh, I don't like that, but that's okay. It's a cute die, I guess. Mm. But, um, <laughs> but it's a great little Halloween die and you get all of these different elements. Then they had a fall die much more my speed. It has the squirrel and it has a regular pumpkin, not a jack-o'-lantern, and an acorn and a leaf and an apple, all for fall. And then they had the winter one, which has this great little stag's head. Wait till you see the sample Elena made. And it has a stocking and it has a mitten and it has a snowflake and it has a couple little tags to it. So these dies retailed at $21.99 and we've got them for $5.99. We have less than a hundred of each of them. I'm just letting you know I bought all they had, but I thought that they were going to go perfect with the exclusive tag that we have. Can't wait to use them. Cannot wait. So let me show you quickly how one of these dies works so you know what a steel rule die can do. Um, let's put this over there and let's put that over there and I'm just going to grab a little bit of white paper. I want something longer than that. I'm going to grab a little bit of white. Now you could absolutely use pattern paper. I'm just using generic white paper and generic black paper. This is my Simply Defined 100 pound cardstock. Okay, I think we're good. I just want the heart, the butterfly, and the flower. So I'm gonna put my paper right over there. I've got both pieces, white and black. I'm gonna cut both of them at the exact same time. I'm gonna bring over my Big Shot machine. Now, if you have a um, Spellbinders Platinum Machine, whether it be a six or an eight or a Big Kick or a, a Big Shot or a Vintage Sizzix Machine or a Fabby Sizzix Machine or a Tim Holtz Vagabond or a Plus or a Pro, steel rule dies are gonna go through fine. If you have a Grand Caliber or a Gemini, no can do, they're too thick. Those machines were made for wafer style dies only. Now with a steel rule die. You don't need any additional platforms. You just need two cutting plates. That's all you need. I've got a do not cut plate down at the bottom, which means it's a plate that I try not to cut into. I try to keep it as flat and as pristine as possible. Unlike my cut plate, 
which is getting cut and it's getting warped, if I have a nice flat surface on the bottom, then it glides through all the time. If you've got two really warped plates and you're trying to wedge it in underneath, that's difficult. Just keep a clear plate as a do not cut plate. Now I'm going to put my second, my cut plate right on top and I'm going to roll it on through. Creaks and cracks are fine. I'm just going to send it on through. Can you hear some of those creaks and cracks? Not to worry. It's fine. Now I can roll it back if I want or not. It's up to me. But just like that, all my little cuts are done. Oh, I even got a half of a, I even got half of a leaf or a half of a feather. Ooh, ooh, look at that. I got, I could do something with that and put those together. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to those because who knows what I might do with those. So my butterfly and then my, so a steel rule die will allow you to cut thicker materials without any problem. That's what it's meant to do. I'm gonna put those over there for now. And if you wanted to keep this, you could definitely keep this and trim this out and use that as a stencil, or you could make that into an embellishment of its own. You have options with steel rule dies. You absolutely do. You'll notice though, most steel rule dies, the shapes are far more simple than a chemically etched die or a wafer die because there is an, a person, a real live person, sits with a metal and bends it around to make the shape. This is not done by machine, this is done by hand. So a real live person had to shape this heart in there, unlike a chemically etched die or a wafer die where it is a machine made die. Okay, I'm gonna roll that on over and we're gonna move on. Now, what should I start with first? Let's start with the shakers. Okay, so, there are, we have about 30 different shakers. I will tell you that four of them, four of them haven't been seen anywhere before. <laughs> Susan sent them to me early. She said, show them. I said, really? And she said, yeah, show them. Look at the Nomi. Is he not the cutest thing ever? It's the only sample I have. I wouldn't let the girls use it to make a sample. Look at the Nomi. So nobody has him, nobody's seen him, nobody. <laughs> okay, that was cheesy, sorry. <laughs> the gnome is darling. We have the brand new apple. We have the brand new mitten. And we have the brand new witch's hat. So these four right now are exclusive to us because they don't release, I think, for another two weeks, but we got them a little early. Wahoo Kachu. And then we have the tag that was uh, that's exclusive to us. I've got about 30 different styles of shakers. 30 different styles. And I want to show you how to put them together. That's where we're going to start. Even before we fill them, ink them, do anything to them, I want to show you how to put them together. Then we can play. First off, each shaker comes with a base. So a base, it's your backing. Then it comes with two inserts. And then it comes with a piece of acrylic or acetate. And then one more open frame that matches these. So you get three pieces like this. And you're like, why do you get three pieces like that? Well, first off, well, actually, first off, let's do that. I want to show you the, the baggie. Can you see, let me see if I zoom in. Can you see what that says? It says, important, clear scraps, acrylic shapes are crystal clear. Please remove film from both sides. That's because this isn't supposed to be cloudy. It's supposed to be crystal clear. And there's a film that you need to pull off on both sides. Why did they do that? So you don't scratch up the perfectly crystal clear window that you're gonna put in there. No, they leave that film on there. So when you're ready to take it off, when you're ready to put it all together, then you take it off so you keep it perfectly scratch free. Now, you've got your base. 
And I suppose if you wanted to, if you didn't want to make it a, sh a shaker and you just wanted a basic tag, you could build it just like that. So your base, your acrylic, and your top. But the idea of these is to make things move and shake. So they've given you two extra pieces. These allow you to determine the depth of your shaker. How deep do you need it to be? If you add just one, then whatever you put in here had better be pretty flat to make a move. You couldn't use something domed because by the time you put the window on, if the dome is higher than the, than the depth of your shaker, well, they ain't gonna shake. <laughs> so if you were looking at things like, let me see if I can get this zoomed in. If you were looking at things like these, which are just the most cutest things ever, can you see those darling little flowers? Are they the cutest ever? These are super flat. Um, we also have them, I mean, we've got like 15 styles of them. Look at, we have them, look at in the, in just the reds. Or in the little hearts. These are super flat. And would probably let you get away with just adding one of the inserts on top. And then putting your putting your little sprinkles in and then your top piece, your here, and then closing it all up and you should be good. But what if you have something more dimensional? What if you have something more like this that has got like dew drops and crystals and sequins and all sorts of goodies in it? These have got little stars and little dew drops and domey pieces. How are you gonna do that? These, these have got little snowflakes and all sorts of goodness in there. That's where having the second frame allows you to add more depth to your shaker. So one, add a second one, and now you've got more depth, which means you can put thicker things in there. And then your top, and then your now again i'm going to show you how to put these together even before we start to play with the cosmic shimmer or the aladine i want you to see how to put these together and you have a couple different options you can absolutely use a double-sided tape to go all the way around and put it down stacy tape will work just fine you can use an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch, go all the way around and put it down. I, however, am going to take the easy peasy mode and I'm gonna use sticky dots. These are my sticky dots, they're micro dots. And when you open them up, there is one side of the paper that has nothing on it. And there's another side that has hundreds of thousands of little dots on them. So any of your, see now I've got dots on me. Any of your intricate dies work beautiful on this. You don't, you put your intricate die cut down, you close it up, you give it a good rub, you pull it up, and then all of a sudden it's ready to be uh, stuck on whatever makes your heart happy. You don't have to try and glue it. I'm gonna use those to close up my shaker card. So I've got my base right here, and I'm gonna take my first, my first uh, added element to add the depth to it. I'm gonna set it down, put it down. Now, if I was doing an intricate die, it would be the exact same thing. I'm gonna burnish, burnish, burnish. Keep in mind that wherever there is no tag, the sticky dots are gonna stay right there. So you never want to throw away your liner until you're sure your sheet is empty because I can come back and use all of these sticky dots later. They're only going to stick to the place where I put my paper or my chipboard. Okay, so I'm going to pull it up and pull it off. And hopefully you can see sticky dots on there. Then I'm going to bring it over here 
and I'm gonna line it up and put it down. Now the nice thing about sticky dots is that you do have time. They are repositionable for a limited amount of time. So if I needed to pull it up, I could, but the longer I put it down, the harder it's going to be to pull it up. So there's one piece ready to go. Now let's do another one because I want this to be super, you know, I want the, the max depth that I can get. So let's put one here and close it up and rub, rub, rub. And then all the dots around are going to stay there for you to use at a different time. And rub, rub, rub. So no goobers with sticky dots. You get 10 sheets, 10, uh, eight and a half by 11 or eight by 10. I always forget what it is. 10 sheets for $9.99, which is a smoking hot deal. Somebody sent me an email um, today saying that they found something similar, but it was a lot more money. <laughs> okay, now I've got my depth. Now I could take... Well, yeah, no, I'm gonna wait. Okay, so here's my acrylic and I need to get that off. So I'm gonna do it with my fingernails, although I know um, I know that there's another way of doing it. I don't know if it's with an alcohol or what, but I'm just gonna take my fingernails and kind of grab that and then take my tweezers. I've made a little, there we go, and peel it right off. Oh, can you see the difference? Ooh, ah, but that's just one side. You have to do both sides so that you get the full effect of crystal. Just kind of grab it with my finger and then get my tweezers in there and pull. There we go. Ooh. That's why they put the covering on it so it stays. Ooh. Now, I'm going to put this off to the side just for a moment because now you're saying, well, Stacy, how do you put that on top? Because you can't put the, uh, the acrylic on your sticky dots. You'll have sticky dots all over the whole acrylic. That's not what that, that ain't going to work. I agree. Let's open them back up and let's take this and put this upside down, shall we? And rub, rub, rub. I'm gonna turn it around so I can rub, rub, rub the front side. Transfer those sticky dots right on it. It's a lot easier than glue, but if you're a good gluer, go for it. Okay, I've got my sticky dots. Now, now I can take some of these I can put some in and now I can take my acrylic and put it on top because it's sticky. <laughs> but I'm not done. I still have my last piece. <laughs> Bring this on over. Now let's put it this way and let's go grab all those dots. I'm not going to color this one because now I put it all together. But there you go. No fuss, no muss, no glue, no mess. It's easy peasy. Easy peasy. Love, love, love. Okay, so that's how you put one together if you want to use sticky dots. You absolutely can use tape without question. Although I should have put a little bit of, um, a little bit of um, baby powder on the inside 
just so they don't stick. There we go. There we go. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, there we go. Shake, shake, shake. So cute, right? Super cute. But if you want to use a wet glue, you can. If you want to use a double-sided tape, you can. I just find that for me, I'm an easy peasy kind of girl and these worked for me well. But you want to color them. You want to make them more. You don't just want to do a, a, a cardboard tag. No, you want to make them special. I get it. This is where coming in and playing really is just, this is where you can let your imagination go wild and have too much fun. Oh my gosh, what can we do? I've got a couple here and like the little, the little cute little, it doesn't have to be a Christmas present. This can be in any kind of present. Truly it can. Or the, I, I've got the, the wonderful little angel. Let's start with the angel. Let's do the angel. Oh, and I've got the cupcake. I like the cupcake too. Okay, let's start with the angel. So I've got the same pieces that I had with the tag and these are laser cut. So that's why they look a little charcoal because they kind of were, they were burned. They were laser cut out. And sometimes they smell like barbecue. They really do smell like barbecue sometimes. You're like, hmm, dinner. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna play first with Opal Polish from Creative Expressions. Have you seen Opal Polish from Creative Expressions? It looks a lot like a lot of their other stuff. They all have the same kind of jar, which kind of gets it confusing. Okay, so here's my suggestion, and, and maybe I'm wrong, but I, uh, I don't know if I'm wrong or not. Can you, I mean, it would just be really nice. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the labels are different. I'm gonna have to look and see. I'm trying to see if I can see them from here. But gosh, it would be a nice way to figure out, you know, maybe another way to identify the different like Glimmer Kiss from Luster, from Opal. I don't know, it just, it's hard sometimes. I don't know if we can put something maybe on here. I don't know, anyway, just a thought. Okay, so what this is is not a mousse, it is not. It is just a jar full of happiness. It's a little more jelly than moussey. It definitely is more jelly puddingy than moussey. And this little thing here, is a sponge that you can use as your applicator. Can you wash the sponge? Yes, you can wash the sponge, absolutely. Wash it out with water and then let it sit out to dry before you put it back in the cap. Let it dry first. But yes, you can wash the sponge and then you just pop it right back in. Getting the, the little spongy out for the first time can be tricky. You've gotta kind of take it from an angle. Let me screw this back in. Take it at an angle and kind of pop. If you try to pull, no, it's not working out so well for you. Now, they have several colors that look almost exactly the same. See, white, 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 those look identical. Only difference is these are interference colors. What does that mean? That means that when they have a change of color, kind of like the marabou uh, marbling, the color shifters, these are kind of color shifters because when you put them on, they're not white. They change when you move them. This one is a uh, rosy, it looks red. Yeah, red pearl. And if you can see, can you see that red coming out from that white? And this one, this one is green pearl. Can you see the green shimmering out? And this one is copper. So a little more orangey than red. And all of the opal have that kind of an interference to it where you see one color, but then you move it and you see another color. They've all got that beautiful, beautiful uh, pearlescent shine to it that kind of moves in color. They're just really, really, really wonderful. Can you see there's a kind of a goldy mixed in with that? So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna open it up. And like I said, it's definitely more jelly than it is moussey. And you wanna do what they call the ski slope, which is like getting it going kind of like this. You're kind of like taking it up a ski slope. And that's how you get it on. Less is more with this. Do not like zoop, like, oh, you, you, you don't want a mound of it. You want less is more because you can always add to your element, but once it's out of the bottle, you know, it's kind of difficult to put it away and you don't want so much going on. So I've got my, my base here. 
Ooh, right? And in an instant, it's colored. If I want a little more, I can add a little more. Kind of ski slope it. So pretty. Will the colors blend? Oh, you bet they blend. And in all of 30 seconds, I've changed the color. Looks good. It really does look good. Now I could let this dry. In fact, I will. I'll let it dry for a minute. Yeah, it's almost dry. I'll let it dry for just a minute and then I can come back and put another coat on if I want. So I'm gonna put that one to the side and then I've got these guys. Now, do I need to color these? Because these are the two that lay in on top. Do I need to color it? I don't think you do, but it depends upon how A-type you are. <laughs> you may want to color it, but nobody is going to see it because you're going to end up putting your clear and then your final. And it's the final that absolutely needs to be colored. So what color do we want to do that in? How about we do that in the blue? Ooh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Let's open it up. Oh, see, we've been using this one a lot. Hello, this was popular. This one is, um, I don't know, it is lavender blue opal. And can you see, I don't know if the camera can get it, that it's got this purpley pink hue to it that moves, it's that iridescence. And again, let's see if I can get some of it to a little bit of a ski slope up here. Oh, I think I'm almost out. Let me dig some up from, from the bottom. There we go. Now let me try and ski slope it. Oh, better. Oh, yeah, better. But she's so fine that you can almost just take your fingers as opposed to using the little spongy because she's so fine and just rubbing it all in. Because I don't want to break her, she is chipboard. Then I'm gonna pick this up and I'm just gonna keep on using it so there's no waste. Anywhere I can pick some up, I'm gonna pick it up and reuse it. So there's no waste. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, love, love, love. Is it water soluble? Yes, can you wipe it off your hands? Yes. Oh, but look at how fabulous she looks. Okay, baby wipe. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Obviously, we think this is a popular color for us. The girls must have loved it when they made the samples. <laughs> Okay, let's put that on top. Boy, my hands. Can you see the shimmer? Can you see the different colors? See, if I move it one way, it's purple. And if I move it another way, this is blue. It changes colors depending on how my light hits it. Same with the background. In one direction it's white, and there it's white, but in another direction it's this glowing 
vibrant red that is a, just a pinky red that's just amazing. So let's try and put a little bit more on that bottom and see if a second coat, because it's all dry, it does not take long to dry. Ski slope it a little bit. And we'll just add a little bit more if we want it a little more uh, solid looking. And it really, oh, get that blue out of there. And it really is that quick. So now I can take my hands off. I can take some of my sticky dots. And I can put my first angel down. I can put my second angel down. So I'm going to use both of them. Give them a good press. No goobers. That's important. Turn it around. Give it a good press. Let me put this over here. And that one over there. And then we'll peel it up. And I'm going to put my first layer down right on top. And because my opal polish, my Cosmic Shimmer Opal Polish has already dried, it's going to stick right to it. So one layer down. But I want to be extra dimensional. Let's pull up my second layer. Lay it right down giving me my, that added depth that I'm wanting. Press, press, press. Now I've got an extra deep little cavity to put my, my shaker bling in. Oh, can't do that because I need to add the sticky dots here. So let's open this up. Push, push, push. Pull up. Yep, I got sticky dots all the way around. That's important. Now we'll put some of these in there. These are little wintry ones. Couple up there. They're sticking to my hand because I got sticky dots on me. Get in. In you go, little snowflake. In you go. Oh, in you go, little snowflake. Be free. There you go. Okay. I've got my acetate ready to go. I'm just going to kind of get myself a little starting point. know somebody's gonna have a clever way to get this off but off it comes do the other side off it comes I got my fingerprint on it but okay close her on up Let's see. 
sticky dot still here? Let's put that down. Oh, I didn't get the side. Move it up a little bit and get some sticky dots going on this top piece. Opal is so pretty. Now, you have an option. Do you want to finish her out? Of course you do. Absolutely you do. What was the... I used this color. So now that I've got her all put together, all sandwiched together, I can come around and... Ski slope. A little bit of ski slope. See, I'm jumping off the ski slope. And in about 15 seconds, I've colored the back of her. If you get a little bit on the acetate, don't worry. And yes, you could have done this beforehand, but it will wipe off the acetate with a little baby wipe. And then if I really want to, I can go in there and color the sides too. so that you don't see any chipboard at all. Oh, and look at it, it looks so cute. Looky, oh, love that. Oh, maybe I should frost her. Oh, oh, okay, that looks really good. Let's go through and frost her a little bit. I told you they blend. Oh, she even looks better. Oh, okay. side and shake 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 she looks good that's using the it's opal polish it's not the glitter kiss or the luster it's or the blaze they've got so many different things this is the opal polish and it really just looks beautiful and easy to do and then you're back Gosh, I could put a little bit of that blue on the back tube. Okay, stop, right? Stop. Take a stick. Uh, step away from the angel. Okay, I will. I'll step away from the angel. So cute. Then, maybe we play with this one next. Same thing. Backing. And then three individual pieces. Two to get your depth. And one for your top. And what do I want to put in here? Oh, I don't know. How about we play with the, um, how about we play with a little bit of the Izink Ice? What's this? This, or no, Izink Diamond. This is Izink Diamond Glitter. It comes in this weird little pouch, all their products do, but they don't dry out, which is really, really nice. This is not a sticker or a decal. This is a window. The color you see is the color it is. What you see is actual product there. And if you slush this around a little bit, oh, that's a good one. If you slush this around, you can see it moving, right? Pretty cool, right? So what if I, and it dries like this. I mean, it dries instantaneously almost. It's amazing. What if I took a little bit of this and I'm a finger type of girl, it's water soluble. Put a little bit down, get a little bit down. And what if I do my whole back? Now you're gonna say, oh, I'm gonna have to come back three Tuesdays from tomorrow <laughs> before this is gonna be dry. No, it's not like a stickles. It's not the same. This dries very, very quickly within even as thick as I've got it, it will be dry within a matter of minutes. If I used it, um, gosh, let's see. If I did it thin, so if I put a little bit on my fingers and I just did a thin coat, OK, 
Okay. Shall we count to, I don't know, 10? So I've got a thin coat on there and it's a really thin coat. Oh, I don't know. Well, let me finish this one. And look at the coverage. I can pull and cover. Pull and cover. And before you know it, you're completely glittered. Okay, so let's go back to this one. It's dry. See how it's not moving? Dry. Amazing. Is that 10 seconds? You can hear it. It's dry. Crazy, right? What kind of glitter does that? Wet glitter. Um, I think diamond absolutely does. Whatever, whatever Fred, who is the owner of Aladdin, he's this mad scientist over in France. <laughs> And he, he makes, he, he, he was, he really, he was like a chemist. He's a chemist. And so he, it's dry. Is that crazy? Try to do that with some stickles. Uh -uh, I don't think so. So this is also almost dry. So let's set this off to the side. And then let's take, ah, uh, Let's take the red and let's do the top. I'm gonna take the gold off my hands and let's do a little bit of the red on this. So just a little bit on my hands and I'm just gonna wipe it right on. Can you use um, a Q-tip? Sure. Can you use a dauber? Sure. Can you use your finger? Sure. What's going to make it comfortable for you? You use whatever it is you got to use to get it on. If you don't like getting your fingers dirty, I get it. Just use a Q-tip to get it on. I don't know that I would use a makeup sponge because you're not trying to blend it. You're just trying to get it in place. Do I have the silver of this? Did they bring me the silver? Oh, maybe I'll use silver for the bow. So I'm just trying to get that red on there. So pretty. And I'm just taking it straight out of the pouch, just a little bit out of the pouch right on my finger. I'm not making a big daub of it on my craft mat. And the reason I'm not doing that is because once you take it out, it's like toothpaste. You cannot put it back in. You can try. That would be an interesting YouTube to watch. But you can't put it back in. So it's best just to pick, just to get a little bit at the tip. Just a little bit at the tip. Just what you need. You can always go back and get some more. But it's really hard to put it back in. Okay. So I've got red going there. I've got my gold. <laughs> Gold's almost dry. And that was a lot of gold. Let me wipe my fingers. And maybe we'll try just a little bit of silver. Maybe you don't want it this blingy. Ooh, what if we mixed, maybe on the next one we'll mix the, um, the opal and, look, I'm just gonna push a little bit. I'm just gonna give a little bit of a press at the bottom, just like toothpaste and get a little bit out and then get it on. What if I don't like my silver? Okay, let it dry and then go over it with whatever color makes your heart happy. Yeah, I'm not sure I like my silver. 
It was a good thought. Well, it is what it is is what it is, right? Absolutely. Just go with it, Stacy. Okay, thank you for giving me permission to do that. <laughs> okay. So I've got my two pieces. I've got my layering pieces. Let's get out my sticky dots. Layer one. Maybe I can only use one. Oh. Hmm. I want to make sure that's dry all the way though. Hmm. Maybe I will use two layers. Give a press. Give a peel up. Layer on top. Give a really good press because we're on top of glitter and it still might be a little tacky. Give a really good press. I want to make sure that that's down really good. Look at how cute is that, right? Oh, see it is. It's still too tacky. It wants to pop. Yep, not yet. Super cute though. All right, let's put this one on top of that one because that'll be fine. Yeah, see, my glitter's still a little wet. Yep, still tacky. All right, well, not too bad. It's still a little tacky. Let's try one more and put another. Nope, not yet. So Wet glue maybe if you don't want to wait for it to dry and you want to get it all put together. Um, I wouldn't use Stacy tape either. I would use maybe a little bit of wet glue to get this down as opposed to waiting for it. And then I could put my, my clear on top. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Just get that so I can get it started. Pull, pull, pull. I know one of you is going to tell me this unique and easy way to get this off. Although it's really not hard at all. That on top. And then my final. I think these might stick to them but we're gonna see anyway. Oh yeah, see, still a little wet. That's okay. So can I get these in there without it being completely done? Look at how they are so cute. These little sprinkles. Okay, so if I had that down nice and solid, and I had this on top nice and solid, and I had this on top nice and solid, so cute, so cute. Oh, see, but it's not done yet, but super cute. 
You may want to use a little liquid glue when using the Aladine, or you're going to have to let it completely, totally set. But it really is darling. But how do we avoid that? Okay, how do we avoid that if we want to use the Aladine? So what if we took, let me put this someplace where it's not going to make a mess. What if we took the cupcake and we did the opal polish behind it. Um, the opal polish behind it. Which one is this one? This is the copper. What if we took the opal polish behind it? So kind of jellyish. Ski slope. Get a nice little ski slope going. What if I did in the copper, because the uh, micro dots stick to this without any thought at all. It just does. Yeah, that's more than enough scoop some of that off and put some of it on the back because I got a lot going on. Polish it right up. Polish it right up. And then I'm going to turn it over because I've got some on so I can just might as well just do the back at the same time. Ooh, that color is yummy. So pretty. Okay, so let's do that. Can you see the sheen? It's very cool, right? So let's do that. And then we could do these in a glitter. Okay, so what flavor do we like? Oh, I like the red. The red is so cute. I'm going to use that red glitter again because it just makes my heart happy. Red glitter. A little bit on my finger. So I'm not putting it on the back side of this. So that means it'll stick to the, the micro dots will stick without any problem. Oh. What if I wanted to do some opal polish? Change of mind. What if I did a little bit of, of pink opal polish? Oh, this actually comes out more. Yeah, well, it's kind of pinky. So cute, so cute. And then what if I took some of the glitter and went over this with a little bit of the glitter? What do we think? You have options, you can play. The color is amazing. When you get it, you will be shocked at how fabulous that color is. And then let's take a little bit maybe of the silver or the gold. Oh, I don't know. I have too many choices in front of me. The girls get put too much on my table. It's hard when I have so much to play with. I want to do it all. And let's just take a little bit of this and just take a little bit of gold and just kind of dust it. Like, just kiss it. Just a little kiss of gold. <laughs> just a little kiss of gold. It's so cute. I don't know if you can see it. It's so cute. And then because it doesn't have any of the glitter on the back, it should go down right on top.
And what if we took a little bit of that pink again? Uh, that was not this one. It was this one. What if we took a little bit of this pink again? And maybe just did a little bit around the edges down here. Just to give a little definition. Okay, now let's put it together and see what we get. Ooh. All right. So sticky dots. Open them up. It's probably the hardest part of the whole thing of the sticky dot. One side is tacky, one side is not. Let's put one down. Let's put two down. Close them up. Pull them up. There's one. Two. Put together. Let's turn it upside down and I'm gonna put it in the middle of the two. And rub, rub, rub to pick up those sticky dots that were in the middle of the first two that I did. Pull off, okay. And then let's get our clear acetate. And I'm just gonna give a little bit of a scratch to get it going. Just trying to grab a little bit of that top piece, that, that film, just so I can then pull it right off. Zoop! Sound effects required. And get it started over here and just gently go underneath it. And whoop, there we go, zoop. And then what do we wanna put inside of it? Ooh, what do we wanna put inside of it? Um, how about the little sprinkle hearts? so cute <laughs> and you get so many it doesn't look like there's many in there but my goodness gracious by the time you put it all together there's a ton in there and let's close it up and then let's put our top piece let's get some sticky dots And I just keep using the same area until there's no sticky dots left. And if I have to and I turn it over and I see that there aren't any sticky dots on there, like, okay, like right here, there's not a lot of sticky dots right there. So then I just come over here and I just put it right there and find another place that has them. There we go. And close it up. They're so cute. It's just darling, and they're so easy to do. And that's using a little bit of the glitter and a little bit of the opal polish. I mean, you definitely, definitely have your options on how you want to put these together. No question about it. And when they're done, they're just, they're just the cutest little embellishments you've ever seen. And what you do from this point on with them, do you attach them to a, a gift bag? Do you make an ornament out of them? Do you put a magnet on the back of them? Do you put somebody's picture in the center? What do you do with these? You have so many different options to choose from. Just super cute. I thought they were darling when I saw them and they are just easy, easy to put together. Okay, so then what was I gonna show you? Oh, what if we took, okay, those die cuts, right? 
I don't know, do we want a little, do we want a little heart as the cherry on top? <laughs> Oh my gosh, do we want a little heart as the cherry on top? You could do a little a little gold heart. Where's the little gold heart? I just put a little bit on my fill my heart in with some gold. These are where those dies came in. Remember the die cuts? And I told you that the little elements are perfect. So now I can attach a little heart on the top of my, on the top of, or I could put my little heart down here. Oh, they're so cute. But I have black. What if I wanted a butterfly? And I don't want it in glitter. What if I want a butterfly and I want it in the opal? So just black paper. Ooh. Okay, and I'm gonna do it on white too so you can see the difference. So same color, different colored paper, just like the Marabou color shifters. Okay, here it's a very soft pink. Will it zoom? And you've got ir some iridescence that you can see. Here, it just screams. I mean, it just, depending on the way you turn it, it's amazing. And we could float those up and we could put a little butterfly right on your little cupcake. So cute. Okay, you've got tons of options. Tons of options. What is it that makes your heart happy? And do you like the opal polish? Or do you like the Ising Diamond? Chances are you already own some of that Ising Diamond, but I don't know if you've seen the Opal Polish and just how easy it works and how you can use the two of them to work together. I took a little bit of that gold and just went around the top just to give a little oomph. And it dries, see this is completely dry, finished. This one's completely dry, finished. It was finished when I was done. My cute little see the top is yeah they feel dry I'd probably have to put some more sticky dots on it but now it's dry so cute all right and then if you want to you can just take your paper and make your little make your little pouch for the back and that's super easy to do some of this off water soluble so I'm just using a baby wipe on my craft mat and the craft mat is my craft mat you can see that it's not moving while I'm wiping because mine is a non-stick non-slip craft mat I was the very 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 first one to come out with a non-stick non-slip craft mat I don't know that I'm the only one anymore but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> Imitation is the best form of flattery is what my mom said. So um, <laughs> so if I wanted to, I could just cut myself a little. Square. Add a little row of Stacy tape around the very edge so that you can slide your gift card right on in. Any way you want to do it. Easy peasy. These are darling. They are so cute and they are so fun. And like I said, the tag, the tag is exclusive to us right now. And I just love it because it's universal. And kids can put them together and seniors can put them together and you can put them together. And you can just keep it as easy as you want or you can go as elaborate as you want. But then we also have the four that have just released. 
the apple, the witch's hat, the mitten, and the gnome. <laughs> Please know I am limited as to how many I can offer based off of the cutting capacity for clear scraps. We love them. We don't want to lose them. We don't want to, to overwhelm them. So, and you know, you know if there's a mini, well, there must be a, a boy mouse, right? <laughs> so Disney-esque, but not Disney. And then a stocking and a tiara crown and a bell and a, a gingerbread man and a Christmas tree and a bat and a snowman and Claire's favorite the wine glass yes the wine glass but wait there's more I told you we had about 30 of them and we do we have the bunny we have words love we have if you're a pet friend if you've got a fur baby I got two of the, oh, wait a minute, does that, yeah, two of the same. We've got a snow globe. We've got a mason jar, how cute. We've got the choo-choo train, a snowflake, a doggy bone, the Christmas present I was working with. We've got the word smile, wait till you see what Doris did with this. Mm -mm -mm. The word family, 2020, wait till you see the sample Claire did with this. I think Elena did a sample using the flip-flops. Oh, I got another bunny. Oh, I think I already showed these, but if not, oh, the heart with the paw, oh, say. Got plenty of them. There's like 30 different ones in there. And then all the different things. We've got two different kinds. Look at these. These are the Disney ones. We've got two different kinds of Disney ones. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We've got the sprinkles, or sprinklets, which are really thin and flat and look just like sprinkles. And then we've got the sparklets, which have bling and rhinestones and different shapes. And they're all themed. Look at this little sprinklets, the little darling little toppers. But then you've got, is this the one with the... These have got, oh, this one, I can't see it too well. They're all tucked underneath. This one's graduation and it's got graduation caps and balloons and sparkles and rhinestones and all sorts of different stuff. How cute for a little baby, oh my gosh. So we, oh, here's a good one there. You can see it in this one, really good. You can see the graduation caps and everything. So it's a matter of, I, I wanna say we have like 30 or 40 of these too, at, at least 30. Wedding. And look at the fun colors. This was Claire's favorite. These fun colors were Claire's favorite. And pinks and hearts and greens. And I don't know how you will decide. And there is no I want it all bundle because there was just too many. But you've got options. All right, let's do samples because samples are the fun part. Okay, remember I told you that smile, right? Doris made a little placard card for your desk. Oh, look at it, is that cute? It's got all the little hearts in it. Smile. And then how about the choo-choo train? Happy birthday. What little boy would not love this card with the shakers? And it's got the Disney ones in there. Oh, that made my heart happy. She's got the Disney mousy ones in there. Super cute. All done with clear scraps, shaker cards. And how about the snow globe as an ornament? And then this is from the Spellbinders die. little ornament out of the snow globe, backed it with paper, and then filled it with shaker. Isn't that beautiful? You can make these for people and give them away and they're going to love them. They are, I promise. So pretty. You've got the polish down there. Oh, just lovely. Oh, how cute. 
Look at that. Love the cupcake. Love it. And you could make it so that you could pop it off and it has a magnet behind it so they could then put it on their refrigerator. Uh-huh. The girls really did do an amazing job. And here, look at this with Claire. I don't, is this Claire? Maybe this is Claire. She used the, the, um, the feather. This is the feather from the, uh, from the die. Oh, here, the die is right here. Remember, they're elements, these dies. They have elements, so different different, different shapes per die. And you've got a fall element and a holiday element and an everyday element and a Halloween element. And look at what they did with the, with the everyday element. That's not part of the paper, that's the die. And then the die here. And look at she got, she fussy cut a feather to put in the middle. And then again, you could add a magnet to the back and tell them to take the uh, take the shaker when they're done. How about for your birthday? And there's the element from the everyday, the little butterfly. And then there's your gift card. Oh, so cute. And this is the exclusive tag and this is the eye zinc. That's the eye zinc diamond. And then look at here. Is that not so cute? Oh my gosh, this was one of my favorites. Elena did this one and it's dripping. And she's got all the little... And on this, she left the film. She did not make it crystal clear. She left the film. It's your choice. She likes it left. She liked the look of it. And then here we have our little snowman, all done with the opal polish from Creative Expressions, their Cosmic Shimmer Opal Polish. And here we have for those who love their, their pets, oh, oh. <laughs> for their doggies. How cute is that? Oh, we have another doggy one with the bone. I must be in Claire's pile. Claire's the lead volunteer for the animal shelter in Castaic and has been for a long time. She takes good care of the little animals and gets them all adopted. She gets all the rescues adopted. Right, super cute. And then, oh, this is Doris and you. She used the Alexandra Renke paper. Oh, yes, she did. Easter has passed, but you could start them now. How beautiful is that? And it's just the, the colors are so soft. This is beautiful. And... Christmas in pinks and in greens. Just festive and happy and easy to do. Oh, and here we have the elements, the Halloween elements. So on that die was the witch's boot and the, the, um, the bat. And here is a Halloween tag all filled with with nothing but uh, toil and trouble, purples and gold. You can put a gift card. Oh, she, look at, they did the back. How cute. So these are from that Halloween die for $5.99 from Spellbinders and uh, Fun Stamper's Journey. And here, remember I told you that stag on the Christmas, the holiday elements. I told you there was that beautiful, that stag that's on there. Look at it here. And that's done with the, uh, that was done with the eye zinc and I think the opal polish. Oh. 
and she backed it in paper with that tree? You can do these, truly you can. What a happy birthday card. Doop, happy birthday. So you can make this for less than you can buy a birthday card. <laughs> And have leftovers. The shakers are $3.99 and then we have them on sale. And the embellishments are like $2.99 and we have them on sale. And my goodness, one little pack goes a really long way. But happy birthday. And then thinking of you. So we've got eye zinc on the top of that butterfly. They did make a lot. Okay, so let's move these over and see who these belong to. Happy birthday with the crown! Okay, any little girl is gonna love this. And even the little the little blings have crowns in them. We have a little set of blings of of, of sprinklets or sparklets that have the little crowns in them. Oh, and here's the flip-flops. I think these are Elena's. And they've got the little shakers and the little flip-flops. So that's Elena, so cute. Oh, and look at this wedding one. And we have little sprinklets that are, have, are made for weddings. They have little doily hearts in them and a little bride and groom in there. What a great little wedding card. Oh, and see this one, I think Claire did this one. 2020. <laughs> and it's got your little hearts and your little stethoscopes and it says, healthcare heroes. Absolutely. And the stamps for this were from Darcy's. All these little stamps were from it is a new Darcy release. But she did the 2020 in the I Zinc Diamond. And then we have a little fall tag with the little acorn from the fall elements and the pumpkin and the Leaf are all from the fall elements. Super cute. And it says, give thanks. And then a Christmas one. Ah, here, finally completed. Totally dry and put together with, I, uh, with Aladdin Ising Diamond. And the little stocking is from the holiday elements die. So for $5.99, you get, for each die, you get a whole bunch of little designs that just work well on small little things and made this into an ornament. And here we have the bat and it's got the spider from the Halloween elements. Oh, right? And then I've got a few more doggy. Let's see, I got another doggy. And you don't have to use the sprinkles. Claire put little doggy paper clips in there. Aren't those cute? And another flip flops done with the, ooh, now you can really see the color change. Done with the Cosmic Shimmer Opal Polish. Leslie, this one be for you. <laughs> and then Claire's wine glass, relax. And she went over it with a glossy accents, a glaze to get a glossy look on the wine glass. And she used paper to put as your background. Relax. That was me a little earlier without the wine, my relaxed face. <laughs> my relief face. 
And then we have another, look at this is for wedding. You've got the little heart. It comes in, this little doily heart comes in the shakers that you get, the little uh, wedding ones. And then there's a bride and groom and so pretty. And then we have a layout or two layouts. So Elena did this one. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. Elena did this one. Um, hello. <laughs> Those are shakers. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hello. Wouldn't be an SMS YouTube class without the background. Fire trucks. Isn't that darling? So showing how you can use the shakers on your layouts. But then we have one more. And this is from Doris, and I love it. It says, teachers are family. So this is her family, except for this must have been Catherine's, one of Catherine's teachers. And she's got the word family, and it's all done as a shaker and added to her layout. Okay, so which ones do you like? I can't even, I don't even know. There's just too many to choose from, right? I'm trying to scroll through and see which ones. I, I wouldn't even know where to start. They're all just so fabulous. The girls did such an amazing job. I mean, they just make your heart, they just make your heart happy, right? So I'm gonna tilt on up. Oh, I'm gonna say hello. <laughs> I know they're getting longer and longer and longer, but oh well. <laughs> okay, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking made simple. Scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Where are you gonna get all of this great product? Easy peasy. You're gonna find it at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Now you may be able to find the clear scraps someplace else at your local store if they're opening up. The tag, though, you can't get anywhere else. The gnome, the mitten, the apple, and the witch's hat from Clear Scraps right now. We've got them. Um, the opal polish from Creative Expressions and part of their Cosmic Shimmer line. And the Aladdin, the eye zinc diamond that is really, really an amazing product. If you like glitter but you don't want to wait for stickles to dry, this will be your friend, I promise you. And then we've got the few dies from Spellbinders. Again, oh, and the little, the little toppers. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Makes me want to have cupcakes. <laughs> Maybe that's why I did the cupcake one. Food. Hello, I'm Stacy. <laughs> All right, you guys. So it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you next week. Bye, everybody.